This is Mijas and welcome back to my channel AI Begin Start Net. It's been a while since I've posted a video, mostly because I've been busy tending to my laziness. What you just saw right now was a mudskipper robot. Now let's see what a mudskipper is. Ladies and gentlemen, meet the star of the show, the mudskipper. This unimaginatively named creature is a fish. And not just any fish, it's the most badass fish of them all. They can breathe above water and walk on land like it's nobody's business. Just take a look at the way they walk. No limbs, just two flimsy fins and that's all they need. Here in slow motion, you can see how they use their fins to push themselves forward. So I've decided that this little nature's rebel needs a terminator version of itself. So I fired up Fusion 360 and got into designing one. Now that the design is complete, let's now print some stuff. That's all the parts we need printed in white PLA on Ender 3 3D printer with a little bit of reversed entropy. As you can see, I have attached a horn to the fin here and now we can connect this vertical movement fin to the SG90 servo motor. I have done the same for this horizontal movement fin as well. All the electronics you need, the 3D files and the circuit diagram for this project are linked in the description below. Let's now put it all together. Up to this point, it was all unicorns and rainbows. Then Murphy's Law came into the picture. The 16 channel servo went. The masterfully designed pillars for the servo broke. And the bleeding ultrasonic sensor won't fit in the socket. Now it's time for some quick problem solving. To replace the servo driver, I put together this little board with a small piece of common PCB and some connectors. This whole line is ground, this one is power, and this is the signal line for four servos, which can be easily connected like this. I removed the pillars or whatever was left of them using some Dremel action. I designed and printed these much stronger fixtures to hold the servos. And these can now be mounted on the base plate like this. A little grinding again from the Dremel made the sensor fit in like a glove. A very tight one though. Problem solved and now we'll resume the assembly. I did solve the wire management problem by ignoring it. Alright, the body is taken care of and now it's time for coding. I have used VS Code and Platform IO for development. Do comment down below if you need a tutorial on that. You can find the GitHub link in the description below. May the comments in the code help you. 
Now it's time to upload the code. There, it's done. Now open the serial monitor and note down this IP address. Finally, it's time for testing. Open a browser on your phone and type in the IP address to get to this controller page. It has the usual up, down, left, right and speed setting. Though my favorite one is the zombie mode. The mudskipper now shall roam the earth till it collapses or the battery runs out. And when it encounters an obstacle, this albino alpha of a mudskipper shall do what needs to be done. Tuck its tail in and run away from it. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like for this zombie and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. See you again in the next one. Bye-bye.